Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, Navy Girl. So, disregard any fur, any ash. Like, I just got in the house. Y'all little fur cousin, nephew, didn't want to let me go. So, he was like gripping my shirt. And of course, you know, I wash my hands as soon as I come in the house. I had to eat because, child, it is 4.56. I've been out of my house since 6 something in the morning. And y'all, I just ate before I did this video. I know, it's a shame. But I'm sure some of y'all can relate. So today, I went to a brand new Gage, for one. I went to a new Dollar Tree. I also went to a consignment store that I didn't even know existed. That was literally minutes away from an area that I'm in now, every day. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from all the different places. And of course, you know, I went to Walmart. Because... Why not? And that's how this all started. So, I'm going to start with Walmart because I filmed a grocery haul before this for my son. So, I don't know which order is going to come out or it might already have posted the same day. I don't know. But I told him I would go get him some flavored water. So, just indulge me until we get to everything else. Okay? So, I got him the Fuji Apple. They didn't have a lot of selection in this store, so that kind of sucked. And then I had to climb the shelf, child, just to get that apple one. They had a peach. I got him a key lime. And the last one I picked him up was a mandarin orange. So I just wanted to get him some beverages. And these bags so raggedy, y'all. This is three bags, okay, that I did in self-checkout. Okay, let me move this because it's not from here. Also from Walmart, I did pick him up this pack here. So it's 15 in the pack. And this is the Blue Raspberry Punch by Tampa Co. These, I think, are under 20 cards. So that's usually where we try to stay for him for stuff. So they did have these in, like, the original citrus flavor. And I believe it was, like, a fruit punch. But I just got the blue because who doesn't like a good blue drink, right? Then, while I was in there, I picked this up because someone who actually was stocking the shelves for Coca-Cola was in there. And, you know, they were, of course, you know, trying to advocate for their brand. So, my son likes Coke Zero, but I got him this one since he hasn't had it before. So, this is the, I guess it's only on the top. So, this is the Coca-Cola Zero Vanilla. So, I thought he could try this. And it's still zero carbs, so we're here for it. I like the packaging, right? I don't know. It's just it's kind of a vibe. So, I got him that. So, he's going to be excited. So exciting for that. Then, <clears throat> I did pick up this paint by Folk Art. It's a neon black, white, purple. It's a matte acrylic paint, color 2856. So, I picked this one up. This is a, yeah, I'm about to say this is probably two ounces. So, this is two ounces. It was like just under $2. Because you guys uh, know, and if you hadn't watched the video, then I did a video where I was stamping. So, I used this stamp and this one that I got from the thrift store. And it was my first time doing it. So, don't judge. I used a different type of paint but this is like a little bag that I picked up from Dollar Tree and so I just did it on here and then you can see here what the actual stamp looks like so you can see like the bird has this like design on its body so that's not where I messed up it's actually like that's where the extra print is but it's just a work in progress so I did tell you guys in that video I would show you what you know what that looks like so I got different paints because I watched the video on YouTube, of course, and they said, you know, try using acrylic paint instead of like a fabric paint or all the other types of stuff. So I'm still learning, so I'll keep you updated. But I picked up this bag right here, which I've been waiting to get clearance down for a while. So it's like pink, blue, and like a cream color. Then it has like a pocket here. It snaps, bam, and then it does have the piece here so, you know, you can hook it in the middle to draw in the sides. It has a big zipper area, and then on this side, it has two pockets. So, this bag, I have been waiting for it to drop, and so by the time I saw it today, I was able to get three bags 
in that style, different colors, of course, for $2 more than the last clearance price that they had. And for, let me see, for the original price, I believe I got all three for like maybe a dollar less than it would have been for one. So I was happy about that. Y'all know I love a good deal. <clears throat> So I picked it up in the green and gold and cream color as well. It has a little tassel and pom-pom. So I, I really like these. I don't know why. They just like stuck out to me. And then in this bag, I just have a little um, hair set from Time and True. So it's like a five pack of hair ties. And that is the color which I think are pretty. I really like that color. And then I also picked up this for myself, which you guys know, normally when I buy time and true jewelry, I wait till it's on clearance. But this is a new item, and I just really wanted it. So it's a 18-inch um, necklace with a 3-inch extender, and it's just my zodiac sign, which is there. And so I thought this was super cute. I like how it was you know, rectangle shaped going down instead of a square or a circle. It has, you know, the little fish on it. I don't know how much of it you can actually see because of the, you know, computer and the glare and all that, but that's what that looks like. And then here's the last bag, which is the initial one that I saw um, in the store months ago. So it's just this navy blue green and yellow and then it has this tassel that's actually black and green you know same thing you know it has a decent amount of room nice shoulder you know drop there so you got room to get your arm through and then I picked these up from the actual clearance aisle which oh yeah they're shaking I forgot I meant to take these in the store with me oops but it's because it's like 96 degrees outside but i had three but the lady that was in self-checkout i gave her one so you know people always want to get your shopping cart right so she was like oh are those on sale yes yes they were so this is by the hello bello brand it says everywhere bomb it's plant-based made with organic coconut chamomile and tamanu oil tamanu tamanu i don't know but that's what it is. It's fragrance free. It's eight ounces, and it comes in this like jar, which is actually cute, and you know something you could reuse. So that's always a plus. You know, you can take the top off, put this on your desk, put some paper clips or little tacks or something in it, extra staples. I don't know. So I'm excited to use this because you know fall and winter will be upon some of us soon, and you know we not about to dry skin life over here. So there's that. So that's everything that I got from Walmart. So let's go to Gates. So from, oh, I also went to Michael's. I forgot about that. I went there first. So from Gates, this is a brand new Gates. It just opened. So it's all nice and new and shiny. And they actually have prices on the food. Every Gates I've gone to, once they started putting food in them, there's never any prices on anything. It's really annoying. So I was... I was happy. So I picked this up. Of course, you know why. For what I'm doing now. But this one is from the store Delia's. Which is like a little clothing store. You know, like I guess teen, early 20s type of deal. And so it's an ultra bright 10 inch LED ring light with phone holder and extensible tripod. So you can see it says 4 feet when fully extended USB powered. 3 light options. White light, warm light, and natural light. It's 120 LED lights. So that's cool. And then it shows you here like all the stuff that comes in there. So I picked that up from Gage. I had a coupon for 5 off 25 from when I had shopped before. And I already used one. So um, I used this one today. And then I picked up this. Which hopefully it will work. And y'all are probably like why y'all not using it now. Because yeah I just not. <laughs> we'll use it for the next one you can tell me the difference so i got this little um plug and play microphone so it comes with a microphone a foldable mic tripod a mini shock mount 
a pop filter and an audio cable splitter. It says it's compatible with all PC slash Mac, laptop, tablets, and gaming devices. So it gives you like the steps on the back there. And then it tells you like, you know, all the stuff that they have in it. So yeah, hopefully this will work and it'll make, you know, my videos even better. Then I just picked up this belt because since it is about to be fall and winter, at the time I only needed another item for $3.99 until I picked up those last two items, so then it didn't matter. But um, I just went on ahead and, and kept it. Um, this belt, I just needed it for a pair of boots that I have that are actually, I think the box calls them pepper is the color, but it's like a taupey type color. So I thought this belt would actually go really well with it and i want to say the hardware on the shoes like the boots the grommets are this color so i thought that was like a perfect match or almost perfect so i got that from gabe i also picked up a pair of shoes um i feel like they're really cute i don't know if you guys are gonna like them but i think they're super cute so i thought like with a nice just all black outfit is is giving okay you're just gonna have that pop on your feet with like a black and cream bag like i have this black bag that's like black and cream with like a gold chain detail with the cream going through it i feel like that's the outfit right there so they're a peep toe you know it's nice embroidery it's material so let me put one down it does zip on the inside that's the heel so nothing too too high it's also not super skinny so that's always a plus um yeah I, I really like these like I love the material of them I love everything about them so I was happy and I got the last pair in the store that was my size it was meant to be as if I need another pair of shoes I need another pair of shoes like I need another bar of soap or another body spray speaking of which I picked up two <laughs> because at the time like I said I didn't have that other stuff so I smelled a lot of fragrances and chow they was not they won it. And then I smelled a couple that were dupes for other stuff. This one is called um, I'm Beautiful. It says love, respect, worth, and confidence. It was only $3.99. So that's the packaging, the little heart. So I'm thinking like this one might be like a dupe for, what was it? Um, Bath and Body Works had what, like a pride collection or something. I don't remember what that smells like, that particular one, but maybe that's what this is. I don't know. And then I also picked this one up called Honolulu Weekend. And I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. Little floral design. I like the shade of blue. So I picked that one up. This one doesn't have any scent notes. Another brand that I saw did have scent notes on it, which I was surprised. But $3.99 for 8 ounces is like, hello, this is giving SAS prices for, you know, you know, who everywhere every year. So that was what I got from Gabe's. I don't think I picked up anything else from Gabe's. So let's move on real quick to Michael's because I didn't get that much. So from Michael's, I got one of these containers, which I have one back there just to, you know, organize my craft stuff. This is actually a scrapbooks, but they call it a storage case here, whereas the other one actually called it a scrapbook case for like your paper. So this is what it looks like open and everything let me get it in the in the frame okay and then i uh, also picked up this bag so i got this bag here just white and black it, it i got it because i wanted to um do something on the white part of it you know as far as with the stamping so i didn't want to buy anything too expensive um yeah and the tote was actually on sale so it was like 50% off. So I paid like under $3. And then I picked up some semi-precious beads. So you get 10. And this is some yellow tiger's eye. So that's what I picked up. These little pieces here. So I got that. <clears throat> this, hopefully this doesn't fall. It's like Jenga. And then... I went to a consignment store and I got 
I got this throw blanket. It was like three of them still in like the packaging. And oh man, I can't remember what it was, what it said. And I don't want to open it. Oh wait. Oh, it says come in cozy up throw blanket. It says made in India. So yeah, I got, I got that. Hold on y'all. Let me see. Let me see. y'all just have to hear it so anyway so i got this it says um like i said made in india and i don't know how big it is but you know it's enough to you know throw over the legs you know to be warm it's not something that you're going to be able to wrap around your whole body or anything like that but i like i like it i think it's a nice color and i like the contrast of the taupe with the black script writing so I'm happy about that and the lady who rung me up she actually was like oh I have this blanket I use it every night <laughs> and then I found this brand new brand new bottle of Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Neem Oil okay 24 ounces you guys hold up make sure nothing okay look, look at the price $4.25 four dollars and 25 cents for an eight ounce bottle you're paying like 13 basically so for a 24 ounce bottle four dollars so i saw this and i sent a picture of it to my youngest son i was like hey do you want this and he was like yes ma'am so i went on ahead and picked that up so i could give it to him he'll probably take this one bottle with him maybe back to his dorm or something and then you guys, I had just found this book at one of my local thrift stores, but in paperback, and I love my books to be hardback, and you guys, I found my book, so this is number 26, so it's Twisted 26, I found 27 um, at the thrift store, I swear every time I go to show y'all something, it disappears, okay, and I literally just moved this beforehand, but I got this from the other thrift store. So I paid $3.99 for this one. I paid $3.50 for this one. And I believe the paperback, I paid like $2 or something or $1.99. So I'm okay with that. Normally, when I find her books, I never buy doubles unless I found the paper, the paper, um, the paper copy first. And then if I find the hardback, then I get the hardback. So that's the only time I'm ever going to have a double. But I love my books and it's like a whole freaking rainbow on my bookshelf over there. Like I love it. And so I was so happy when I found this because these books are like $30 stateside and like $40 can um Canadian. So I'm I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. And so the thing is this book looks like it's in such amazing condition. Like as soon as it came out, the person was like, Oh, number twenty six is out. They went and got it, read it, and then donated it. So whoever she is or he, thank you. Appreciate you. So I was super excited to see this. And it was like so random that I saw it in the first place. And then the other things that I picked up from there, from the consignment store, was just some random things. So I found this, this little tea strainer. So, you know, for like the loose teas. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So this is a mesh tea ball and it was only like $1.50. So I thought that was pretty good. So if you don't know what that is, so this is what it looks like. So you just open it, put the loose tea in it, and then, you know, you just dunk it in your tea, let it brew, and call it a day. So $1.50 for this I thought was good. Usually stuff like this, I always, like, look it up. So I Googled it on Walmart, and it was, like, $14 and just random prices. So I went on ahead and got it. I also picked up um, some jewelry. So I picked up this bracelet. It's just, like, a cream color. It fit my wrist perfectly, and it, it just has, like, gold tone setting. I picked up this one um, because it had the little anchor, and if you're new here, I was in the Navy, so there you go. So I picked that up. It has, like, a little bolt, a knot, and it looks like, oh, yeah, it's the drive. It said that's not what our steering wheel looks like on the ship. <laughs> that would be just on a regular boat. Then I picked up these two bracelets. So they're just two white bracelets with silver details. And then see, look, it has one it has a little cross that's uh, all bedazzled. And then like the infinity sign, which is really cute. And then it has like this silver 
tubing right there as well. I thought these were really cute, so I got both because they had they had two. So I picked these up. I also picked up this gold bracelet that they had in this bag. So um, this is the front of the bracelet, and then it just clasped. So I picked that one up. I got this bracelet and this rose gold. And the lady that was ringing me up, she was like, oh, I really like this rose gold. <laughs> she was like, I like this rose gold bracelet. So I picked this. It's just a little, it's still stretchy a little bit. Like you can see that it does move some. It kind of gives like snake body. But it has a little tassel. So whenever I can find like rose gold type jewelry, I like to pick it up. And then I picked up this one here. So it was a set, but I just bought it mainly for the necklace. But it's just like a cord, a corded necklace. And then it has all of these little gold pieces. But it's like that muted, it's like that muted gold. So I like that because I have a few pieces that are actually like this. So that way when I'm wearing certain gold jewelry, I don't have the stuff that's like super shiny. And then the other one that's given dull when really that's what it's supposed to look like. And nothing's wrong with either piece. Oh, and then it has like these little stud earrings. So, yeah. And then I also picked up this little headband. I thought it was cute. You know, it's just like ruffly. You know, giving girly, right? So, I picked that up. It was like 80 cents. Why not? And then the last piece I picked up was this silver necklace, which is like a heart. And it's like uh, bedazzled, we'll say. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. And that's what the heart looks like. So I really like the details. I like the chain on it and then just a lobster claw clasp and an extender. So that is everything that I picked up from this little consignment shop that I went to today. And last but not least, Dollar Tree. So from Dollar Tree, for my oldest, I picked this up again because he liked this the first time. So this is the lemonade, the blueberry lemonade. And this one is two carbs, so perfect for him. And then what I went to Dollar Tree for, so here are my lids. So letter A, always. And here are my containers. So this is what the containers look like. These are what I store my shoes in. And I stack them in my closet. So... Like I have sandals, so depending on the type of sandal, I can fit like three. You know, if not, I can get at least two pair of sandals, two sets, I mean, of sandals in there. Or sometimes three sets. And then I picked this up in two colors. So I, here's the red one. And then here is the purple one. And so I was thinking, like, you know how you see those necklaces? They're like those mesh necklaces, and then they have, like, the pendant. That's what I was thinking about making with this. So, like, a pendant, something like, you know, one of these that I have already made into a necklace, you know, to put that there. And then I'll just have to put, like, my own closure on it. So I picked that up. And then plus, when I saw this purple, it was giving Halloween. Because when I went to Michael's earlier, was it Michael's? Joanne. No, and I went to Michael's because I went to both, but I didn't buy anything from Joanne today. But from Michael's, they had a lot of, no, in Joanne, they had a lot of Halloween stuff out. And so that's what made me think of this. So I picked that up. Then I also picked up these jump rings. So it, uh, it doesn't say how many is in there, but it says 20 grams. So just some silver jump rings to help with like my jewelry stuff. Then I picked these up, um, finger protectors. So you get a three piece set, it's 100% uh, silicone. So I picked these up to put like on my index fingers for when I'm like doing my bracelets and stuff, like putting the beads on after a while, like my fingertips, they start to just like feel annoyed. So I got that. And then, because of a video that I watched on the application for doing the stamps and everything, I picked up this pack of sponges because what the lady did, she had like a container under, and then she put like different little sponges, like four little sponges. So basically, she cut this into four pieces, and then she put a different color on each one, and then she took her stamp and dabbed it. Now, mind you, hers were more like if you were holding a pen, 
and the stamp was just at the bottom whereas I have ones that are bigger but for the ones that are bigger you know I can still maneuver this and make it work so this is just like an eight pack of sponges hopefully when I try to do the stamping it'll work and then I also picked up this shoe eraser so it says just add water easily cleans white soles patent pending so that's what it looks like there so you know like the magic eraser basically I guess but it's saying it's specifically for shoes I just picked it up I figured my son could take it back to his dorm with him and then they also had this paint which I was like are you freaking kidding me like after I bought paint they have paint at the dollar 25 tree so this is in turquoise this is by rich art it's um a premium acrylic paint multi-purpose safe and non-toxic water soluble uh, it says acrylic paint for arts and crafts, paper, canvas, cardboard, and wood. Also good for screen and block printing. Removal from some surfaces by washing with warm soapy water and household ammonia. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. It says all paints contain pigments that may stain clothing and some surfaces. So that means that when I stamp with this, it shouldn't go nowhere because it's going to be a stain. Okay, it's going to be in there. So I was happy to see this. So I figured I would try that. For the low and then the last two items i picked up were just food items so i picked up this uh morena pure cane sugar it's like two pounds for um you know a dollar 25 it says certified vegan so i just picked this up um for like coffee around the house i don't know sometime like the regular sugar is not giving you i need to get some and actually, I kind of like using the sugar in the raw, but whatever. So, it also has a recipe for mini sweet potato cupcakes on the back. So, look at that. Okay, there is that. And the last thing I picked up. Just checking. Is these little slips. This is milk chocolate covered pretzels, which I forgot I even picked up when I went into Dollar Tree because... As uh, soon as I got in my car, my son was like, hey, mom, I'm ready to get picked up. So I was like 20 minutes from him. So I just threw all the bags in the car and I forgot that I even put these in there. So I'll probably partake of this before the night is out after I drink some water. So just some chocolate covered pretzels. They also do have these in white if you like, you know, white chocolate or whatever. So that is everything that I got from my day out like I literally legit had fun today like it was fun going to new places and finding new stores and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed I have to go put up my stuff <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next one hopefully with more energy probably not but wishful thinking right speak positivity <laughs> bye y'all